Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm actually bringing you a car review. Today is actually, well, I'm going to call it a rental car review because, well, it's a rental car. Uh, no, nothing's happened to my car. Nothing happened has happened to my mom's car. No, I didn't buy a Jeep. But, surprisingly, this one's not that bad. Um, the reason why is because I actually took my mom's car to get the timing belt done and this is the rental car for the day so I can get to work tomorrow morning and yeah so this is a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee now this one is a base model but honestly for a base model it's kind of well equipped it's got dirty wheels <laughs> but it's got Michelin Premier LTX tires so it does have truck tires on it I think these are and they're 18s 265 60 18s now I do not know if this one's four-wheel drive I oh it is yep yeah. yeah, this is four-wheel drive there's uh, no selector in the interior for it though not that I found at least I'll take a look when I get in there as you can see, it does have the plastic body cladding, which on a Jeep, it kind of does fit it, but uh, on other vehicles, not so much. But as you can see, it is the base white. It's nothing really that special, but we, it's a Laredo actually, so it's not a complete base model. And it's got an auto up tailgate. That's pretty sweet. I like that carpet back here you have a 12 volt here but you have no cargo cover you do have a power down hatch though lift this up uh, we do actually have a spare tire which is nice to see a lot of times spare tires don't come in new vehicles anymore and you have a couple storage pockets around it so press that it starts beeping and then it closes the hatch that might be almost standard equipment now though, just like the rear backup camera, which is actually mandated since 2017 here in Canada. I think in the US too. As you can see back here, we do have a, sort of like a carpet material as a wheel liner. That stuff there is a nightmare to clean though. And uh, <laughs> a lot of times they don't end up doing it. I actually really like the Grand Cherokee font, and despite being a design from, I believe, 2009, it's actually stood up to the test of time pretty well. It still looks pretty decent, and actually, I kind of like it still, as far as its looks go. We'll pop the hood. I do believe it has a 3.6 liter Pentastar under the hood. This one doesn't have less than 10,000 kilometers on it. And we will turn off auto start stop. Now, actually one thing I'd like to note is the sport mode actually made a difference, a very noticeable difference. I was quite surprised actually. I did not expect to see or feel rather much of a difference when I put sport mode on, but I really did. And this does have the uh, blind spot monitoring, but honestly, in a way, I would kind of... Key fob has left the vehicle, I'm aware. These smart cars are so annoying in a way. Gas shock hood, I really like that detail. And yes, this is a 3.6 liter Pentastar, which is a about 300 horsepower engine. Now the battery is not under the hood, which I'm really not a fan of. I think the battery is actually under the seat somewhere. Not, don't like that. But wow, there's a lot of room under this hood to work on it. It's crammed right to the back though. I don't, I don't know why they crammed it right to the back, but then left this huge space, but they did. And there's where your computer is. Once again, Chrysler not learning to put their computer somewhere a little more protected from water. But, I don't know. 
They must do it for some reason. But yeah. It's pretty clean looking under here actually. Lots of room to work on it. More room than I expected actually. I'll close that up. And actually, like I said guys, it's actually kind of a nice vehicle. Now this one here, like I said, it's kind of bassy. It's not really anything fancy. We'll actually start in the back seat. So I have the seat sat comfortably where I would sit. Now let's see how well I would sit beside myself. And I'm actually, this is really comfortable. This is really decent. So, wow. Little pockets back here. And you have a 110 outlet right there. Rear vents. What more can you ask for, for for a low trim level vehicle? Oh, that's cool too. He's turned them on by pressing the light itself. Little coat hooks. I actually really like the black headliner. It would stay, it'll stay clean. And that's one thing I really like about black headliners. Well, not that they stay clean, but they stay looking clean. Cup holder or bottle holder, not cup holder. You do have an armrest in the middle that has cup holders though. But preferably bottle holders still because, well, it's a vehicle with a cloth interior. Wow, this thing's smart. It can tell whenever the key fob leaves the vehicle. <laughs> Faux leather, but nicely padded. And I love this black, I'd like to say ebony wood look. It's a really nice look, I think. But I can already tell, I, I have two cats and this cloth would be a nightmare to keep clean. Um, that is not something I like about it, to be honest. And we'll step on in. It's, it's really quiet in here, actually. It's pretty nice. You have a hatch, which, oh, you can open it from here. How can you close it from here? You can. Garage home link. Your lights there. Glasses holder. Leather stitched armrest. Probably not real leather once again. 12 volt DC in here. Down in this area. And a light inside there. And on the top section you have another little storage pocket. Honestly. Pretty well equipped. Two USBs and an auxiliary with, however I open this up, that way. Another power outlet there. I'm kind of jealous. This thing has way more power outlets than my car. Nice big touch screen. I like to say it's around an eight inch screen. Navigation, phone, con phone connectivity. It's actually pretty nice. And the black piano black trim looks really good around the outside and for not such a high-end model you get some nice leather wrap a nice leather wrap steering wheel you get pretty nicely equipped vehicle I must say so now I'm not a huge fan of this gauge cluster it is um how should I say it all digital which I don't really love all digital it I'd much rather have some analog gauges, but you know what? <laughs> it is what it is, right? This is the way of the future. This is a 2021 vehicle. But, um, yeah. It is older style, you can tell by this stuff, but it actually is pretty well equipped for the, for the trim. Now, I don't know what this is for, but it doesn't look fun to clean. It's like carpet material. Um, I do wish there was a cover for that, but you know what? Like I said, well-appointed vehicle. They did a nice blend of black with satin colors, but my favorite is the black headliner and such. It just stays clean looking. Auto headlights, of course. Your fuel door release is there. Just a really easy, easy to use, easy to operate vehicle. And then 
and that Once again, as soon as he shut the door, it realizes key fob left the vehicle. It's actually really smart that way, I guess. <coughs> but anyway, guys, that is my rental car review. And uh, it doesn't even have LED headlights. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Um, I do have a goal, though. I'd like to reach 25,000 subscribers by the end of 2021 so if you could please hit that like button as well as that subscribe button it would really help out i would super appreciate so yeah i'm gonna head out now but yeah have a great night everyone thanks for watching